Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about mangoes. This is the season of mangoes 2017. The season of mangoes lasts from month of April all the way to July, the end of July. I recently uh, came across uh, a book called Fruit Crops. Fruit Crops, written by T. Radha. Leela Matthew, published by New Publishing, Ready Books. So from that, some of the excerpts I would like to share with the YouTube audience. Mango is the most important crop among the tropical and subtropical fruits grown in more than 110 countries of the world. The fruit is intimately associated with the history of Indian agriculture and civilization and it enjoys a royal status in the country when compared to the other growing places. History indicates that Indian mango cultivation is very very ancient of about 4,000 years old. Mention has been made about this fruit in ancient Sanskrit scriptures like Sadapada Brahman, Amarakosam, Ramayana, Bhabharata, Chakra Samhita, Susruta Samhita, and works of Kalidasa. In the famous work of Kalidasa, Shakuntala, the mango flower is invoked as one of the five arrows of Kamadeva. In painting and sculptures of Indian art at Ajanta and Ellora, the mango tree and its parts find an abiding place. The mango tree and fruit are referred in the travelogues of ancient travelers, including Yuang Sun, Ibn Hankal, and Ibn Batuta, of which the Chinese traveler Huang Sun is the first one to bring mango to the notice of the outside world during 632 645 A.D. Nicola Conti, Ludovici, the Vartema, Friar, Hamilton, and several others also mention about this choice fruit in their work. The emperors and rulers of India gave great significance to this esteemed fruit crop. The Mughal period is considered as the golden time of mango. Emperor Akbar paid the greatest tribute to mango who established an orchard of one lakh mango trees designated as Lak Bagh in Darbanga in erstwhile Bihar state. The great Persian chronicler Abdul Fasal during the reign of Emperor Akbar in his masterpiece, Aini Akbari gave a detailed description of mango varieties, cultivation, and quality. No one will have a difference of opinion about the status given to mango fruit as king of fruits. Owing to its captivating flavor and irresistible taste and sweetness, in India, mango is associated with the common man's life during the different phases right from birth to death. Very aptly, Indians designated this fruit as the national fruit of the country. The mango tree plays a sacred role here. It is a symbol of love and some believe that it can grant wishes. In the Hindu culture, hanging Fresh mango leaves outside the front door during New Year and Diwali is considered a blessing to the house. Mango leaves are used at weddings in some places to ensure the couple bear plenty of children. That's why in India we have too many children. Mango blossoms are indispensable for the worship of the goddess of wisdom. Saraswati in Hindu families. 
dried twigs of the mango tree or used to light the sacred fire of Homa and other rituals. Thus the myths and facts connected with mango tree and fruit are very, very interesting. The genus Manifera originated in Southeast Asia. Photogeographical studies indicated that this genus originated in the continental region of Burma, Thailand, Indochina and the Malay Peninsula which are the main centers of species formation and the Sunda Islands, Java, Sumatra and Borneo and the Philippines form the secondary centers of development. The, nat the natural spread of the genus is limited to the Indo-Malaysian region extending from India to the Philippines and New Guinea in the east. Studies indicate that the highest concentration of Manifera species is seen in the Malay Peninsula with 19 species, followed by Sunda Islands having 16 species and the Eastern Peninsula having 14 species of mangoes and many of the species are common between them. The botanist Carol Clusius made the first scientific reference of mango in 16 of five. Subsequently, Bowen in 1623-1650 suggested the names of Mangas and Amba. Paul Bonchus in 1658 put forth the name Manifera for the first time. Later, the tree was referred in the literature under the names as Manifera Indica Re, Mangas Domestica Hermann, and Mangas Silvatica Reed. The present scientific name as Manifera Indica El was confirmed by Linnaeus in 1753 in his famous book Species Plantarum. The species originated in Hindu Burma region through allopolyploidy as evidenced by presence of related wild forms, allied species and numerous cultivated wild varieties in this area. History of deri derivation of the common name of mango is also interesting which shows some light to its place of origin. The local South Indian names for mango Mangai or Mangas in Tamil are used in Malaysia also. As early as the 16th century, the name Mangas was used for the mango. In the Greek work colloquies on simplest and drugs of India. It is believed that the common English term mango and the botanical name Manifera Indicael originated from Indian name Mangas. Manifera indica literally means an Indian plant bearing mangoes. Enjoy the season. Goodbye.